Thank you for joining me. This is Flyman Mavic. Uh, some people aren't aware that the DJI Go and DJI Go 4 store a, a cached copy of whatever you're recording. It's used in the DJI Editor program to give you that little bit of uh, nice video you can send to your friends, families, etc. via Facebook or Twitter. One of the other things that it does is that it can uh, record sound from the microphone on your tablet or on your phone, etc. This means if you're flying somewhere, um, castles or you know somewhere else, you know, down by the beach, you can actually do a commentary on the video. Then you can simply take the two videos, put them together and have the soundtrack of the quad taken off and then you obviously talking about what it is, etc, etc. To get to those files, all you need to do is to plug your phone in to your computer. I'm just going to do that with mine now. And if you browse, this is for Android, we'll do uh, iOS in a moment. If you browse to, uh, so for instance, mine's the S7 Edge, and it's going to be click on the allow button first of all. There we go. Go into phone, you'll find a folder called DJI. In there, a folder called DJI Go 4. And in there, you'll find a folder called DJI Record. And any file that you record, the cached copy is kept in there. Let me show you. I'm just going to just plug in my quad to my phone. We'll switch the screen recording so you can see what's going on. Let me just let the app start up first of all. Go away, go away. Oop. Okay, so if you go into the settings tab and you scroll down with the three dots, you will find here video cache, cache locally when recording, and record audio with video cache. So make sure those two are turned on. You can also have largest video cache capacity. If you have a 16 gigabyte phone, for instance, you could put that at, say, 10 gigabytes. Um, and of course, you've got a clear video cache button there, which you click on that, and then click OK. The cache will be cleared out. So I want to show you what happens uh, when you hit record with those settings. So bear with me a second, just going to get rid of the map. Excuse the noise, the Mavic Pro has got a big fan on it that likes to keep it cool. I'm going to hit record. Now then, as I'm now talking uh, through the, let's say I'm flying for instance, and uh, the, the app is now recording, and I can talk along, look, there's a nice tower there, look, and there's some sand and there's some sea, etc, etc. Okay, it's going to stop recording there. What we're going to do then is go back to uh, the computer. Okay, back at the computer, you can see, if I now go into my S7 Edge, go into phone, go into DJI, DJI V4, and go into DJI Record, you'll now see that that file I've recorded is there. Let me just power down the Mavic for a second. Thank you, Mavic. Okay, it's going to play that file. Flying, for instance, and uh, the, the app is now recording, and I can talk along, but look, there's a nice tower there, look, and there's some sand, and there's some sea, etc, etc. Okay, it's going to stop recording there. Okay, so the clicking you can hear is the ultrasonics on the Mavic. You won't get that while you're out in the field. Uh, what you can do with that file then is take that one, take the one from the SD card, put it into your favourite video editor, and you can then just remove the video file from this and just use the soundtrack uh, from it, and then obviously just produce the video that has both the video recorded from the SD card and the voiceover that you did with it. Uh, for the uh, iOS devices, a little bit different. Bear with me, we'll just set up for the iOS devices. Getting things off an Android phone is a lot easier than trying to get things off an iOS device. As you can see, I plug the Android into my PC and just browse the file structure. iOS is a little bit more difficult, so you have to use this program called iPhone Box and uh, install it and run it as administrator. Uh, the phone will show up, you go into Apps, go down to DJI Go 4, and if you click on the little app folder icon there, you will find a folder called Video Cache, and in there you will find the file you want. Um, just click on it and then click copy to PC. I'm going to stick that on my desktop. Quick copy later. Minimize that down. The file is now here. This is what I did before. Okay, so this is testing with the iOS uh, device. Um, look, you can see some beaches and some sand and you can see a nice tower. So there you go. That's so, uh, well, I won't say it's easy to get them off iOS because this uh, iPhone box can be a bit tricky to get working sometimes. Um, but that's it, that's how you get the video files from the folders on Android and iOS. I hope this video was of use to you, uh, take care, fly safely, and I'll see you again.